Okay, gang, I know at this point you already know about the sexual market value that as long as women think that other women want you, they're going to want you also. I know that's kind of crazy because they say they want a man of their own and this and that. So their formula is kind of like saying they're allergic to something but steady running after it. Because if they want somebody that all the other women want, that means they're going to want a godly, holy man that's going to be strong enough to just say, this one girl got everything that I want, even though all these other women want me. So they want whatever other women want, but they want him to just like her. As if she's just so much better than the rest. She blows out the rest. Her booty go like this when it, it break dance when he get in it. You know what I'm saying? She know how to cook, she clean. If, she, if he go broke, she gonna be in it. That angel in his ear and say, I love you. Everything gonna be okay. I got your back. Don't worry. We gonna start this business up. We gonna make billions. Don't worry about it, boo. I got you. I know the world is coming down on you, but don't worry. I got your back. I'm never going to leave you if you go broke, if we get rich, if you get sick, if you get burnt in a fire. I love you unconditionally. It's not based on conditions. That's when you know. You know what I'm saying? So that's how women always fall into two getting cheated on because they attracted to that which is slippery they like slippery situations they want what they can't have but then when they think they kind of got it it's like oh man he cheated but you got a guy not saying you're supposed to get a white guy but you got a guy that you have to obviously see or know that it's something slippery about this situation it's something forbidden about this situation What's forbidden about this situation is that you can sense that he don't need you. So that's just a small group of women. So a lot of you guys out there, you're wondering, how can I get a girl? I mean, I don't want to play the game personally, but all you got to do is invite three, two or three or more girls to a dinner date. Spend them $100, $100 $150. Maybe less than that. You treat three girls on a date. And then they're all going to fight for your attention. That's how you get at least one of those girls going to fall for the banana and the tailpipe. At least one of them. All of them may fall for it. It's a high chance that two of them going to fall for it. But you invite three girls say, come hang out with some friends of mine. And all of them is gorgeous. You got to treat all of them. Next thing you know, all of them fighting for your attention because they saying, what is it about this guy that these pretty girls like? What is it about these guys that this, I mean, what is it about this guy that this pretty these pretty girls like? So it's not hard, guys. Getting women not hard is simple. It's retarded. Getting a down chick is hard. A woman that's going to love you that's not going to play the game because most of the women are downloaded with this software in their hearts where they're going to, they got to play this game, this hard to get game. They got to think, you know, they got to feel that they're better than you. Then you got a small portion of women over here that they want to control you. And in order for them to feel, they don't want to get their heart broken. So in order for them to feel secure in the situation, they have to control all the chips. So they want a guy that's broke, um, that's dumber than them, that's scared to lose him, those type of things, that's addicted to his sex. Broke, scared to lose him, addicted to his sex, addicted to her sex. Those are the guys, the control, you have a good amount of women that operate under that. Most women operate under the want what they can't have syndrome, meaning they groupie type mentality, that they... They, if they think other people treat you good, other people, other women want you, things of that nature, they think you high value, your sexual market, they think your sexual market value is high, then they're going to they're gonna treat you accordingly. But I'm here to let you know, do not fall for the banana in the tailpipe because the moment you give them your full attention, they're going to start switching up on you because they're going to think, oh, I got his full attention from all the other women. 
He's born now. It's nothing to fight for now. Let me stop giving him the booty. Let me act up. Guys, in order to win the game and life and, and with everybody, with it's to act like you don't need these folks, man. And I know it's hard when you really do, but fake like you don't need them until you until you really don't need them. Somehow convince people that you got other options. Don't complain a lot. When you complain a lot, you act like you're scared to lose something. Even if you see something, sometimes you got to play dumb in order to advance. That patience will give you a bigger reward later down the line. It's a crazy game. It all comes from the devil. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. It all comes from the devil. I'm serious about that. Because if it's of God, God is simple. You see what I'm saying? All this is evil. Playing these mind games, emotional games, when all people really need is love. There's nothing wrong with being attracted to who you attracted to. But at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with taking an attraction cut. Not a pay cut. An attraction cut. You know, going a little under what you maximally physically attracted to, to something that you really need that's going to last. But appreciate it. Don't just act like you're giving us a favor, but appreciate it is the hard part. Because a lot of people take the undergrade, you know, you know, they say, okay, well, I'm fully attracted to that. I'm all right attracted to that. But then they treat that all right when they chose that way because the, this all right got the other qualities, meaning they really love you, they down for you, you know, they genuine, they caring, they loving, but they take them for granted. The asshole over here, they got everything that they want physically. They was going to take all that shit. So it's a crazy game, a crazy balance that people have been tug-of-war and fighting over for years, most of their lives. So it's a superficial game. They diving and biting on superficial and hoping something real in, inside the superficial substance that they biting on. So they're trying to get something real out of a fake start, out of a fake situation. Putting plastic seeds in the ground, hoping that something real grow out of a plastic seed. These are the things that millions and millions of people are doing and the divorce rate is sky fucking high. That's why. Because people want what they can't have so they'll never have what they want. Chasing their own tail like the dog in the yard. They don't have no other dog to play with. So they start imagining that they, the rest of their body is somebody else. The same way people do when they masturbate. Be careful, fellas. Be careful, ladies. It's a fake world out here. Make sure you don't base your worth on money, looks, and status and keep asking people what the fuck they do for a living. How about asking them how they feel today, their favorite color? Have you drunk some water? Have you got some rest? Have you prayed today? Would you like to pray in the name of Jesus Christ? Have you got a hug recently? Would you like to get a hug? Would you like to go to a comedy show, get a good laugh, release some stress? What do you do for a living? Just basing people worth on numbers, 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 numbers. People are not fucking robots. Treat people like human beings. They acting like human beings are synthetic robots. Most of the people are because they plugged into the matrix the matrix got them just seeking money and seeking numbers everything they see is numbers how much you weigh uh, what numbers and letters how, how much you weigh how tall are you how many bachelor degrees you got you got master degrees how much you what you do for a living how much you make when are you getting a raise how often you get a raise uh, crazy stupid shit don't got nothing to do with a person you can have all that shit and be a serial killer, devil worshiper, suicidal. But people keep falling for the banana in the tailpipe. You haven't learned from the celebrities? So celebrities don't got it all right. They got millions. They got looks. They got everything. Houses, mansions, cars. They, got their, they even got their own islands. And still getting divorced because it's not about money. At the end of the day, it's about who the fuck you can get along with. It's about who got your back when the world is on your back. Who gonna help get that shit off your back? At the end of the day, it's all about 
love. Unconditional agape love. You know who the fuck I am. Alan Williams, the real Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow. Follow if you're on Instagram. Subscribe if you're on YouTube. Click the bell. You want to see the next video. Share it to your social media. Remember, I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'm out. Me and Rillionaire Nation.